Kids in DeSoto County are still trying to piece their lives back together after two tornadoes ripped through the county last weekend. More than 20 homes were destroyed and hundreds more damaged. Local 24 News reporter Jalen Sochik went to South Haven as first responders worked to collect donations for those affected by the storms. That's not you see. First responders like the South Haven Fire Department and yes. county leaders spent the yeah, entire you. day Thursday collecting donations at the South Haven Super Low. When somebody's in need, we believe in prayer support, but we also believe that God expects us to, to put some labor with that and personal funding with that. So uh, we're here to help the victims in Lewisburg, Olive Branch, and all DeSoto County. Every penny collected will benefit the many families affected by the tornadoes. I can't imagine someone losing everything in five seconds, but we're here. And we're going to raise money to try to get them credit cards so they can show our loves. Alan Craig organized the donation drive. He said because the Lewisburg Fire Department is so full of physical donations, he wanted to collect actual money to help those families in need. We're going to convert the cash to gift cards, and we're going to work with first responders and with law enforcement to make sure the gift cards go where they're needed so people can buy toiletries and necessities that they may not be able to get, uh, especially on a longer-term basis until the insurance claims are paid. Hundreds were affected by the storm's destruction, but it also affected the hearts of many DeSoto County citizens who were more than willing to give. we got folks that's uh, hurting from loss of property, uh, injury, and uh, now some cold weather. So whatever we can do to help. And it's just going to be a process. It's going to take some patience, but uh, we just need to be able to help where help's needed. In South Haven, Jalen Sochak, Local 24 News.